You must construct additional pylons. Welcome back, everybody, to more Stonehearth here on Additional Pylons Games. We're continuing right where we left off, and it's an exciting start. We've got invaders. So let's hit the, uh... I oh, don't know, the little... I just... This is the R button. Town alert mode, that's it. So, town alert has been activated. Mr. Uh, Trevlon, it's time for you to get... Do I really have to have... Oh, my gosh. All right. Trevlon, you're supposed to be handling this kind of stuff. This is how you get your XP. All right. Unbelievable. Trevlon, what good are you if you're not doing the things that we tell you to? All right. Farmer level one for both these guys. That's good. Does that mean that we can upgrade? Uh, yes. Awesome. So we want Silkweed here. And then let's go ahead and get another plot. And that will be our frost snap. I always like I like frost bat snap better than the other ones. I don't know why, but footman level one, good. Get yourself some skills. All right, we need this wood taken care of, and <laughs> oh, trapper! We have a trapper, and we're not even using you as a trapper. Oh my goodness, what a doofus! You guys are probably screaming at me. All right, it's trapping time. Go. So this is just going to be basically be our trapper's corner over here. So we'll get some trapping going here and get some food there. That'll be good. Good, good, good. How did I miss that? I am so sorry. I can't even click on you. Marianne. Marianne Carlwine. Ah, uh, yes, the excitable one. Tasty meal. Meal was raw. Feared for their life. Uh, that's not good. One, oh, feared for the life. Probably made. Because of the uh, wooden sword. Come on. I want Trevelon. What's he thinking? Raw meal. Settling in. Ate a tasty meal. Featherweight. Yeah, and excitable. So I chose Featherweight. Uh, Trevelon won because he's got six spirit and four body. Body's okay. Great spirit, though. So he's never going to run away. But the big thing is that he, uh, he walks a little bit faster. And so he's actually going to be even quicker when it comes to going to battle. So that's good. Uh... However, we are struggling to get some of the other tasks done because we've only got two workers. So that needs to happen. We've got plenty of worth, though. So we're definitely going to be getting our next... Uh, our next hearthling in the morn. Tomorrow morning. So that'll be good. Everybody's sitting down for a, for a little dinner. Yeah, that's adorable. Adorbs. All right. Bushes are almost ready to be harvested once again. See, we got a bunch of traps up here. Catching ourselves some little animals. Get ourselves some meat for uh, for the future meals. So that'll be good. And ooh, fine dining tables. Lovely. We don't need to sign a civilization. Outdoor seating for a moment of relaxation. Furniture. Really? That's all. Writing desk says it's furniture. I expected more out of you, Hearth, Hearth, Hearthstone. Stone Hearth devs. Alright, so we got five plots. So we've got the uh, Silkweed in. We've got the... Uh, what are they? Frost Snap. Flowers. And uh, in the morning we'll have ourselves... Oh, that, that's that's right. Built the... Uh, built our first building, which is technically just a long road. But that's good. That's good. Got ourselves a road that increases the speed at which our Hearthlings are able to... Uh, uh, walk. <laughs> Words. Words, people. All right. Um, I'm thinking that let's see what else is here for placement. Okay. Let's get these, let's get these fine dining tables. Oh my gosh. I'm just, I keep doing this. I do this like every episode. Uh, I'm so used to having RB rotate and it's not, it is not rotate. All right. We'll put a little bit of space in between these tables. We'll put all the fine stuff right over here. Right there. So that's a, that's for all the that's a really fancy table right there. And then let's see here. So we'll need that. So if we do that. All right. So one, two. I think that should be right. Maybe not. I'm probably off by like a half measure. <laughs> it's gonna be really annoying. All right. But we're putting these tables down because we want 
people to have a place to sit and eat. Rivalist stops by. Awesome. All right, we don't really need this stuff because we're going to be getting furs here from our trapper pretty soon. We can get rid of these super nice benches. Actually, yeah, let's get rid of those. Um, we'll keep those tables. Yeah, we're starting to get the furs and stuff. All right, I think we're good. Put these last two chairs down. Then anytime we have fine tables and chairs and stuff, we can just use these guys. We can just start extending that little uh, area. There we are. All right. Oh, yeah. Definitely plenty of net worth. Oh, who's fancy guy here? Our carpenter. Of course. Daff Bell Tower. You should be sitting at the fancy table. He created him. Runa Lessel. All right, Runa. Let's see what we got here. Passionate herbalist. All right. So, well, five mine. That's that's pretty decent. So, yeah. I think that we can go ahead and have you be a herbalist. Uh, so, Runa, Runa will be our herbalist here in a little bit. We do need, for now, she's just going to be a worker to try and clean up all these uh, other tasks that we have to do at the moment, but but we'll put her to use. We'll put you to use. Don't worry, girl. All right. So I'm thinking that this is a nice little area for like a, um, hmm. I want some sort of dock or something like that. We haven't really, I've never really done a dock. So we're going to do that this episode. This kind of inlet, actually. This, this would be probably a good place to do it. So this seems like a natural place where you can have boats that come up right here. So we'll have the dock kind of do like an L-shaped thing. So in order to do that, we're going to move this lantern and we'll just move it right here to the other side like that. And then we'll have this area right here. We're going to build a dock. I think that'll be a, a nice little, nice little feature. All right, let's get into custom editor and let's get going here. So foundations. So we'll have some dark wood here. Um, we we'll just kind of do a little bit of an overhang for our dock area. Let's let's extend this just a little bit. And same thing, we'll have it overhang just a little bit, and then we'll bring this dock out a little bit of a, a jetty or something like that, whatever you call it. Um, We'll actually extend it this way too. We'll kind of have this. Do like that. Then. Like that at the end. Kind of got, so you got like a place to dock here, a place to dock smaller boats here and here, that sort of thing. I think that, I think that looks all right. We'll, uh, we'll get some fancier stuff going on here in just a second. Uh, first and foremost, of course, we want to get some like a, uh, I get like these, you know, these little post things here at the end, right? Something like that. Um, you know, little places for the the boats to like tie off to or whatever. But those little things. Um, what else can we do? Okay, they're mining away. That's good. That's good. And we got rock monsters again. Let's get Mr. Uh... Alright, hit the R button. Alright, get Mr. Footman in there. He's holding his own for now. It's good, good, good. Alright, he's taking a little bit of damage. Come on, buddy. I know you only got... Oh, oh, okay. I couldn't see the heart going away on this little, little stone guy. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're fine. Nothing to see here, people. Move along. Move along. All right. Should have done the poles before I actually started on the the uh, the actual. Now that I think about it, that's okay. We'll just we'll just kind of do this thing right here. Uh, no, that's not gonna happen. Can't abide by that. Alright, slab. This one should do it. There we go. Alright, so we just gotta... So we're good there. 
Let's put another one right here. Can we do that? That's not perfect, but that's all right. It's a little happenstance. I, I kind of like that. Uh, I'm usually a little bit too much on the, uh, you know, perfectionist side. So a little bit of a, a little bit of randomization, if you will. It's probably good for my, it's probably good for me. A little haphazard supporting structures here. All right, that looks pretty good. And then we got a real deep one down here. So we'll just have to kind of hope that this works out for the best. It's a little, that's the only th real complaint that I have at this moment is that the trying to build up is really difficult actually. Let's just for, for realism's sake, let's give it, let's put some, uh, let's say we got to put some stone footers down here. And all these poles just to anchor our our dock a little bit we can always spruce this dock up more as we go on but I think that this is a good a pretty decent start give our give great lights hollow just a little bit of character if you will all right we're not quite done yet but let's let's see what norm's got so norm let's uh what can we sell you doesn't seem like there's a whole lot we can sell you. Um, we've got 174 gold, and we're going to use it to get as many of these comfy beds as we can. Yeah, we'll take your comfy beds. More comfy beds, the better. Better night's sleep. Means, why did we only get two? Definitely bought five. What kind of exchange rate is that? There they are. Okay. So let's just go ahead. We'll put the... Uh, Put the comfy ones here, right by the road. For now. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Talking about haphazard. All right, daily update. What? Oh, my gosh. How did we not How did we not have enough for the next hearthling? All right. That's all right. Let's just keep on keeping on, peeps. Keep on keeping on. All right, I think that we're... And we're done with this section of mining. All right, so we're gonna leave, we're gonna go ahead and close this off actually. And this will be the side. This will be the side that we do our little guard tower and stuff. This is this will be a nice little guard tower area. We can do that. All right, back to this dock. Let's, uh, what else can we put on here to make it a little bit more? Uh, let's, I know. We need to, definitely need to have a little wooden chair here at the end for, uh, Somebody go fishing off, you know, do some fishing, that sort of thing. Uh, definitely, I, I think some log piles be good. Make it a little, look a little in, industrial or something like that. Right there. That's pretty decent. Uh, and then we can do some large crates and some small crates. So kind of do like, kind of do this thing right here. That looks very dockish, right? Can we put crates on top of crates? I don't think we can. Um, we'll kind of do this thing. Another crate there. Like so. Yeah. I'm liking that. I like that. And so you kind of have like two lane, lane on each side. And then we'll do, um, we'll do another large crate right here. And then just a couple more of these guys. Like so. All right. I think that looks pretty decent. Pretty good. Well, oh yeah, some garden lamps. Garden lamps, great. Need some wall lamps. We can just post them right off the side of these uh, these little poles here. Boom. I think that's lovely. I think that's fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and put in one more little tie-off area right here. We'll put a lamp on top of that as well. Beside that as well. And there we go. I like that a lot. I think that's a I think that's a nice little addition right there. So uh, lots of stuff for our carpenter to build. Let's go for it. 
give our give our town some character, give it some life, and it'll give it should give it quite a bit of. Uh... Ooh, is this the person who wants to? Yes, you want to be a cook. All right, so that means we need somebody to be a mason in order to make the cook spoon. Um, but that's good. That's good. We so we've got this area blocked off. Let's go ahead and remove this ladder. Actually, uh, yeah. So we'll remove that ladder and we'll just build another one real quick right here to help with all the underwater construction so they can go up and down there. And then, so this is our only way in or out at the moment. Good. Have ourselves a little uh, safe, safe zone, if you will. Um, speaking of which, let's go ahead and do a bridge. Hmm. I wonder. Stone wall, calm material. Can we do a bridge over? No, we cannot do a bridge over the gap. All right. Well, we'll just have to build it by hand. That's okay. We're going to do a bridge. Let's do this kind of thing where we got a little bit of a... Let's do that right there. Make it identical on each side, and then we'll start building it up. I think that's good for height. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. There we go. Got ourselves the uh, stone frame of it. But I think that we're, what we're going to do is we're going to do this too. We got Norm is back. All right, Norm. Uh, is there anything we can sell you? Sell you a bunch of these guys. I like those. Uh, fine wooden chairs. Eh. Eh. We're good. All right. So what else can we, how else do we do this? Um, well, let's get some wood going. We want we want to have some nice, oh, we'll do Bistra? Bistre? How do you say that? Um, I don't know. Even I don't know. All right, four by four. There we go, I like that. So it's kind of it's kind of just a, a crude starter bridge, but it, it's a nice little uh, I don't know. It looks durable, right? And that's kind of what we're going for. Um, let's. I think that we need to put some some other color stone in here as well. So this. What does that look like? I don't like that too much. I think that we just keep it keep it simple as such. Here we go. That should help. Uh, daily update. Got it. Just barely. Yes. Someone else to help. Neil Carvad. Neil, tell me about yourself. A cult. Oh my gosh. I'm only about a secret bunny god. Sleeping eternally, what's about that? All right, and a, another passionate cook. But 555, five, this guy is going to be a soldier. So let's go ahead and just... Let's just go ahead and do that right away. And so we've got another... Uh, carpenter level 5, goodness gracious. Um, but we got ourselves a second soldier. Help to protect the town. That's good. Uh, what else can we do? What else can we do to spruce up this bridge a little bit? We can do some... Uh, We can do some little pillars here on the ends.
Just some simple stuff. Uh, you know, what? that's a little too spiky. Let's let's try that over. I like the idea of having some poles there where we can put some lights on top. This is a little too spiky. Uh, I think I got it. All right, we're gonna put them off to the side. Like that. Oh, that's wrong. Fix that. Uh, maybe maybe we don't fix that. Maybe we don't. Keep that in mind. Give it a little bit of angle. Alright. We can put some, uh... Some lamps on that. To light the way a little bit. It's a nice, simple bridge. Um... Hmm. I think I know the other thing, too. It's gonna look a little weird to begin with, but... Just track with me, people. I'm gonna try something out. No, I'm not deleting these permanently. Let's just see what another color wood. Slightly slightly lighter color of wood looks like. Along with that. Does that look better? I think that looks better. I think it gives it a little bit more uh more life. And then we can do the same thing with the stone, actually. Kind of cut this out right here. And then we'll go back to this lighter color stone. Yeah, that's pretty decent. That's all right. It's not too bad. It's a simple bridge. It's not too, not too intense. Um, let's go ahead and put on... We've got these four wall lanterns, so why don't we... Put them right on top. I know they're technically wall lanterns, but you know what? I think that looks pretty decent. Looks pretty fancy. Pretty fancy. All right. Finish editing. Are we even, we're not even done with this. All right. That's okay. We'll leave it there for now. And uh, once our builders have finished. Oh, they're saying hi to each other. That's adorable. All right. Let's get through the night here, and then I think that that'll be a good place for us to wrap up this episode. It's probably not going to be at the place where we get another hearthling, but that's okay. We are well on our way, and we've got three workers now. Trapper person here is doing... Marianne is doing some work. I am surprised, and maybe this is just something that I missed in one of the previous updates, but it seems like... The uh, number of skeleton attacks has greatly decreased. It used to be that you would get attacked by skeletons like every every stinking night. Now it's no longer the case. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of these fine crates because we're not actually using them for the build here. We will keep our lanterns. Um, well, we got 40 gold. What do we need? We need some copper is what we're going to need. I think we need two in order to make a uh, smith hammer. So we'll keep the rest of our gold. There we go. All right. So why is this not done? That's my question. Is it just because it's nighttime and people are... Uh, people are just hanging out? Is that what's going on? And we got some beds here. All right. Let's take a look at our town morale. Content. Most of them are content. That's okay. Um, let's see what our folks are saying. Tired. Meal was raw. Ate a tasty meal, though. Uh, slept in a shared bed. Oh, they don't like sleeping in a shared bed. That's right. Oh. Need to start designating beds. Okay. We can do that. This bed goes to... Y'all. That bed goes to Marianne. Basically, we're doing all our crafters first. Crafter slash, uh... Oh, y'all, it's not a crafter, actually. 
Trapper level three, efficient cuts. Salvage more from each animal. Nice. All right. Daff there. Revlon. Cannot say the name Trevlon without thinking of Revlon. Just. There we go. So everybody's got their own assigned bed. So that should help. <coughs> we'll wait for the daily update. And yeah, like I thought. We're pretty well short of that. But that just means that once we finish this. Once we finish our dock. Finish our bridge. And uh, maybe put up a couple other buildings. We should attract another uh, hearthling. And we can probably. So. Runa wanted to be, wants to be, what is it? Herbalist. Yeah. Might have to wait on that. Y'all. Kind of crafter. Sleeping outside does another one too. Herbivore. All right. So Daff is probably going to become our Mason. And you know what? Let's go ahead and do that right now. So that's where we're going to wrap this up. So there we are. We got Daff. He's going to be our Mason. <coughs> And let's get him going because we need some of these stone items created, including um, blacksmith hammer is going to be needed eventually. But the, the big one is the cook spoon. We need to create the cook spoon. So let's get that down. And there we are. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Stone Hearth here on Additional Pylons Games. Thanks for watching Additional Pylons Games. Click one of the boxes to watch another video and click the circle to subscribe and join the APG Zealots. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and share it with your friends. Comment below and I'll see you next time here on Additional Pylons Games.